everyone! So today I'll be showing you how to install the GB printer to your MacBook. And yes, it's possible! So first, download the file in the link. I'll be providing the link in the description box below. So simply double click on the file to unzip it. There. So inside the unzip file, you'll be finding two files. First, we'll be focusing on the gprinter underscore MacLab package file. So in order to be able to install a file like this, simply go to System Preferences, click on Security and Privacy. Under General, you simply allow the package file to be installed. So click on Open anyway. Click on Open. So when you close it, you will see that you will be able to install the file as normal. So continue, continue, install, use password. I use Touch ID. So yay, right now the installation was successful. So we're done with step one of the how-to video. Now, let's go to step 2. Oh, hello. Keep the file, just in case. So, now we'll be focusing on the 200 dpi from PPD file. So, what are we going to do with this? Basically, this one enables us to be able to add the printer to our list of printer drivers in the map. You'll find out later. So, let's open a new finder window. Window and we have to go to the shared folder. In order to do that, we click on Command Shift and G. Type in forward slash users if it's not if it's not typed in. So go. Click on the shared folder. So you can simply drag and drop the file here under the shared folder. So it's there already. Now, let's go back to System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, click on that. Now we can add the gprinter, so click on the plus button, click on gprinter. So just in case that the gprinter doesn't show up, you have to make sure that the gprinter is physically connected to your MacBook and that it's turned on. Basically, that fixes that one if it doesn't show up here. So right now, we'll be installing it. So let's go here to use. And choose driver, click on it, select folder. And type in the TPD. TPD. So... Click on the one that we transferred to the shared folder. So it's the file that we just copied earlier. So here you can see that it's in the one in, in the shared folder. Open that one and click on add. There. So congratulations, you now have the G printer installed on your MacBook. So let's do a test print. So I prepared a test print file. Well, by the way, the thermal printer doesn't print color, so, but that's okay, it's only a sample. So, click on File, Print. Here, we can see that the selected printer is the GP1324D. Just make sure that it's the one, the G printer is the one selected. And under the paper size, you can see these. But just in case, you can't see the 4x6, the size we use for radials. You can do manage custom sizes and add in a new one. So that's the size is 101.6mm by 152 152.4 so if you're wondering why I already have this one, it's because I've already fixed it a couple of times earlier. So. Okay. 
Okay, so that will be the one selected. And simply click on print. Hooray! Thanks for watching!